Morning world, it's about 8.15 in the morning UK time and it's Tuesday the 5th of January. Um, I'm starting readings again today. I do have a long waiting list. I will get back to everybody whose email is outstanding. It's just going to take me another week or so. A um, couple of announcements before I start today's video. Firstly, uh, for those of you in the UK who are astrological students, tomorrow night, bitlastminute.com I know, but tomorrow night I'm doing a Zoom lecture to the Brighton Astrology Group on how astrology is the emerging lingua franca of the consciousness revolution. Sounds very highbrow, it's not. Um, it's going to be starting sort of early mid-evening UK time. Go to brightonastrologycircle.com uh, to find all the information and details on how to attend. It's a virtual Zoom meeting. Secondly, I, I, I acknowledge I upset a lot of people yesterday with my comments about um, if you're not wearing a mask or a visor, you've got blood on your hands. A number of people said, I can't wear a mask because of health reasons. And I said, I know, but you can wear a visor. That comment was not mine. It was lifted from a surgeon in an ICU, an intensive care unit, in a COVID hospital that's absolutely flooded and has no spare beds. So today, Mercury conjunct Pluto. Mercury in the sky, having stopped its retrograde process of a few weeks ago, is now accelerating forward. It's uh, ahead of the sun and it's conjunct Pluto, both yesterday and today. Mercury conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. So, Mercury. Mercury is about the way you read and write and think and speak and move. It's all systems of communication, whether it's intellectual and mental, whether it's verbal or text or email, or whether it's social, as in traveling, partying, interacting in and with community. All levels of communication at the personal level are ruled by Mercury. Whereas Pluto, when he's in a good mood, rules transformation, regeneration, rebirth. He's the planet that's most commonly associated with psychology. And Pluto deals with the way we purge and de detox and cleanse and purify ourselves, sometimes through the more intense and extreme and obsessive and compulsive ways, but always through getting to the bottom and uprooting the poison and bringing it to the surface. And now, over this 48 period, hour period that we're beginning to come to the end of today, Mercury in the sky, communication is conjunct Pluto. So yes, there's going to be a lot of, um, not inflammatory or incendiary, but direct and to the point communications. With the idea of lancing the boil, I did receive a number of emails yesterday from the older generation, people considerably older than me, like people in their late 70s, 80s, and in one case, even 90s. All of these people lived during World War II. Admittedly, they're almost exclusively from Britain, but not totally exclusively. But the theme was, look, we could have launched the boil of Nazism from an early stage, and we didn't. As a result, the Nazis had the opportunity to develop their techno technology with, with, with ground-to-air rockets, with advanced U-boats. Um, and as a result, the war dragged out a lot longer. It's the same with the virus. The more we give it time to mutate, the more virulent it gets. And um, there is a need for us to eliminate this toxin as best as we can through whatever means necessary. Although I am on the fence around vaccines and I am not having the vaccine as yet. I note the interest that certain countries, notably Spain, are compiling a list of people who do not have the vaccine, which they're then going to circulate to all other countries' police forces. Well, I say, well, that's your choice, but why not go the whole hog and make those people who refuse to have the vaccine wear a bright yellow star on their chest, on their shoulder? much like the Nazis did to the Jews. <laughs> Mercury conjunct Pluto, you see. 
No point in beating around the bush. No point, in, let's just get to the core of things. Mercury conjunct Pluto drives you into the underworld, drives you to the depths. It forces you to look at the dark side, not the negative, but the dark. It forces you to deal with the psychological stuff at the root core of any particular issue. And you can't hide from Mercury conjunct Pluto. It either reduces you to a, a fearful, dribbling, drooling wreck, or it helps you discern between the difference between manipulative and um, mercenary, which is the negative side of Mercury conjunct Pluto, where you go out of your way to become successful or hurtful at all costs, regardless of whom you tread on. Or it develops the more ruthless side of your nature, which is not cruel or callous, but is yes, no, black, white. No middle ground, no negotiation, no compromise. And it does seem that at the moment the world is in a bit of a ruthless state. I reiterate what I've said a number of times before. This coming 10 days is the toughest time of the next year. And I've been saying it long before governments are suddenly jumping on the bandwagon. So what you can do with this today particularly, the moon should be in Libra by now, I think. Yeah, it should be. Um, what you can do today is you can actually look at a number of situations in your life and see how have you managed this last year. Mercury's conjunct Pluto now. Jupiter and Saturn have left Capricorn. Pluto's left on its own amongst all the big boys in Capricorn. Yes, we've still got the Sun and Mercury and, and Venus is coming up to Capricorn. But these are transitory. These are going to be there for a month and then gone or a few weeks with Mercury. Pluto's going to be staying in Capricorn for another few years. But now we've got this opportunity right now to get to the core of things, to be able to isolate certain specifics and to bring them to the surface and into clear vision. And I am talking about our personal lives here. So perhaps this is a good time right now to be able to look at how we've individually managed this last year, this last 10 months of infinite lockdown and say to ourselves, right, well, how do I need to change, transform, regenerate and rebirth my life? How can I upgrade my mental potential? How can I, how can I aspire to be better than I've been? And that means dealing with your own shadow stuff, dealing with your psycho own psychology, upgrading yourself and, and taking responsibility for the way you think, and, and as a result, everything else stems from there. Now, this is an option. You don't have to do this, obviously. You can continue to be a puppet on a string. But the world seems to be getting more and more split into those who act or those who react. And so you're either your puppet master of your own life or you're dancing on other people's strings. And yes, of course, we're all under intense lockdown. At least many of us are. But that doesn't mean we all have to be the victim. Time to dive once more into the dark, into shadow. And out of this should come something magical and something really self-empowering. And this is going to do us all the world of good in times to come. Trust yourself. Catch you later, world. Bye.